Ukraine's offering us some really interesting lessons in the blurring of distinctions between uh, civilian and military assets and uh, the, the, the ethics uh, concerning the use of drones. And of course, we've seen some really interesting incidents, not least the recent loss of, a, of an American drone. Of course, what's interesting as well is how quickly the technology develops, how some of this is actually quite basic, um, how it's being developed by civilians as well as military. I think there's over uh, 80 companies now working with the Ukrainian development d d government developing drones. And very much as the Ukrainian government has, reducing the time it takes to get a system from sort of design to into the air. And I think the, the British uh, UK Ministry of Defence is learning a lot of lessons pretty fast about that as well. I mean, I've always been interested in the, in the uniqueness of drones. And if you think of more traditional, um, you know, Reaper predator type drones uh, in, in the fact that they can persist uh, so they can stay over a, a location for a long period of time and that they're kind of intimate in that the uh, operator spends a lot of time observing or, or did spend a lot of time observing the, the potential targets that they were going to uh, bomb. Um, and now what we're seeing is the proliferation of much, much smaller and, and many, many more of them. And so I think what we're talking about away from persistence and intimacy is actually preponderance. You, the, the fact that there are just so many of them on the battlefield, um, I think is a, is, is a real change in direction. Um, I think there's room for both, but clearly the big and expensive ones don't have that agility to, um, to defend themselves where, where, where there's not air superiority or at least um, local air superiority. I, I could envisage AI in, in time being able to operate clearly multiple drones across a large uh, scale um, operation uh, as, as effectively as a human. It's the quantity of decision making that potentially could be made by AI it, it is an advantage that one might definitely want to take. Once we are convinced that the that a, a, an autonomous system can make a better or more consistently better decision than a human one, I think we'll be persuaded to go down that route. But it's whether we can be persuaded that's the question, and I think that that's not, not yet been answered. We've forgotten that, that war, war like this actually really does channel minds. I think, you know, I, I live in Salisbury and I live near the secret Spitfire factories, where the, the locations where they used to be. And, you know, I walk down there and past those um, factory sites and it reminds me of what's going on in Ukraine and just how how innovative and how uh, resourceful uh, people can be when they are facing, you know, life or death of their country. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel.